Hi everybody and I wanted to introduce the first of my two new books that's coming out today. You'll have seen it on some of the videos. This is Essential Oil Reference Book of Articles and Lectures by The Secret Healer and I read that back to front. <laughs> so this is a collection of articles that I have written for professional journals over the past three years. So Aromatherapy Times, Aromatica, which is a Hungarian magazine, the Naha Journal, and um, Aroma Culture, which is a lovely magazine that I'm sure that I'm hoping that lots of you are buying. Um, what's interesting is there's a you can really see the different personalities of the journals through the different articles that I've written. And I've dedicated it to Heidi Wingert because Heidi sends me lots and lots of emails to say you've made a mistake here, you've made a mistake there. Thank you for doing that, Heidi. <laughs> She's always saying, I hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind. I really appreciate it and I love your little messages. So I've dedicated this one to you, Heidi. And uh, yeah, the, the quote, as you know, I always put a quote at the front. The quote in this one is by a gentleman called Gabriel Garcia, uh, Garcia Marquez. And he says, no medicine cures what happiness cannot. And I think that's really true. And when I was putting it together, I wanted to eradicate something that's bugging me <laughs> at the moment. The use of the word aromatherapy, when actually what people mean is essential oils. And the difference is obviously the... You peel back the physical layer and underneath you're looking at the mind, body, spirit. And this book really looks at that, especially the or the articles that I wrote for Aromatica and for Naha. So the Naha ones have got uh, understanding allergies from a mind, body, spirit perspective. Uh, menopausal personality changes, which is about me being moody and a warrior um aromatherapy for the sinuses skin care from the inside out i really enjoyed doing that one that was a study of three children whose skins were reacting to very obvious things that were happening in their lives um and some of the articles overlap with books that i've already written so i mean i hope that you enjoyed them from the same point of view as i did that it was like revision i was like oh i forgot that but What's probably not immediately obvious is the articles in the book, for the most part, came before the books were written. It was particularly my articles for Aromatica. I get given an oil and told to write about that. Um, when I've looked at them, I've gone, ooh, this is interesting. And that's where the books come from. Um, so there are some that are... Well, there's quite a lot of dimensions to rose in here. I think there's three different articles. There's two articles and then um, a lecture. The lecture that I delivered in um, Beijing. Um, but also there's ones that you haven't seen. So, for example, <laughs> there's one called Ginger, A Cautionary Tale. And that's the story of the day I got aromatherapy wrong. <laughs> And how um, ginger has so many different facets and how just having a little bit too much ginger tea made my life very difficult for a couple of days. So that's quite interesting. Um, but I think my favourite two articles in here are one on sweet orange and one on Scots pine. And I have to say, this day three years ago was a very proud day of seeing all my books go live. There was six, I'd written six to be released all on the same day. So six books went live that day. But it never even came close to seeing my work put into Hungarian the first time. And um, I have to say, Gergle just has, uses the most beautiful font and everything looks so romantic and exotic in this font. But he puts things with the most incredible pictures. And um, the Scots Pine one, really took my breath away because when I opened it it was a picture that he'd found of the bridge that's on the end of my road Ludford Bridge and uh, Ludford Bridge is quite a famous bridge in the War of the Roses and um, you might remember um, the, the rose the, the rose the <laughs> Lord York, so I say the Yorks and the Lancasters, so around sort of Richard III and those Plantagenets just before them. 
lots and lots of battles um, happened around here and one very important one happened on Ludford Bridge which is I walk Bella across it every day and uh, to open a Hungarian magazine and go oh <laughs> there's Ludford Bridge that was really really exciting and I like the article that um, about Scots Pine it's about the tree language from the Celts so that's really interesting I think you'll enjoy it so there's lots of different dimensions here um, I've because I've been forced to put references on each article they're with each article rather than on their own in the book so I know some of you will find that a complete breath of fresh air so I have to do some very big thank yous so first of all I have to say thank you to the magazines for letting me do this because although I do own the rights to them it's very very generous of them to let me put them all together in one book and please as you read it if you think oh I really like this be encouraged to subscribe to those magazines because You'll learn a lot more from those magazines than you will ever do looking at internet pages, you know, reading real aromatherapist work, so to do that. But also, the editors. <laughs> Guys, I know how hard I make your life. Especially, I have to say, Sharon Falsetto, <laughs> who has taken to sending me smiley faces on my, um, on my emails and I don't think she feels like there should be a smiley face because I think I probably make up a lot of the um, Latin names as I go and my referencing leaves a lot to be desired and she probably feels like oh this woman drives me mad so I have to tell you how much I love you Sharon <laughs> and how much I appreciate what you do and Gergle and Erin and John at Aroma Culture and Lauren at uh, Aromatherapy Times, your support is phenomenal. And, you know, I, I want to say thank you to, to you from everybody that reads your magazines to say you are just incredible. And actually, I know Kelly Holland Desaro also doesn't directly get involved in my work, but um, she does send me lovely messages. So I think probably Sharon probably sends it to her to go sort this out for me. So heck Kelly, you're appreciated too. So yeah, please buy the book. Now, let me tell you about it. I've put it on special offer. Um, I'm going to have to write it on the thing. I can't tell you how much it is off the top of my head because I can't do the dollars and the, th and the uh, pounds, but um, if you're going to buy this, if you're thinking of buying it on Kindle, don't buy, uh, go ahead and buy this one. Buy the paperback and I'm giving you the Kindle book for free, right? So don't buy both. Now the Kindle book, I can tell you, I've put it for 99 cents or 99 pence just for this weekend. Because those of you who are loyal to me, you're going to get it far cheaper than everybody else because come Monday, the price is going up. But uh, yeah, don't be too tempted to buy the 99 cents. If you want a paperback book, buy the paperback and you will find that the Kindle version downloads onto your machine free. So this is the first. There's another one coming, but just to sort of see how close things are, I'm waiting for the postman to deliver it so that I can show you it. So yeah, go and buy this now, please, before I put the price up, just to say thank you for all the support today.